Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a recipe for stuffed uh, eggplant or brinjal. Uh, so this, these are the small variety and you cut them uh, not all the way through so I'll show you those and then you stuff them with a masala. Uh, this recipe is specific to the uh, Maharashtrian region of India and so that's a state where you use uh, coconut uh, in, uh, in a lot of your recipes so that's what I'm gonna show you for this recipe all I need is a one onion uh, coarsely chopped or sliced uh, three garlic clo cloves and about half an inch of ginger I just put it all in one of these you don't have to do a very fine chop because the idea is that we uh, we put this all we kind of saute it and then we grind it after you saute so that's the difference in this recipe got my handy spicy uh, spice box and then coconut flakes or you can have shredded coconut and then I also have uh, what's known as kolapuri masala I've just put it in a different jar this is a special blend of mix but if you don't find this you can use a combination of spices and that should work as well so the idea is I'm going to use my IP to make this you could also make the masala on the stove top so as you can see my IP just got hot and I'm going to add some water, uh, sorry, some oil into my uh, instant pot. And it's almost, it's quite hot, so the oil heats up very fast. So in here, I'm going to start by adding some mustard seeds. some asafoetida jeera uh, seeds or cumin seeds uh, about half a teaspoon or so not too much so as you can see they're sizzling and spluttering so I'm just gonna dump my onion garl uh, garlic and uh, ginger now you can add a little bit more oil in here if you want because generally um, they say more oil is good but again if you're cooking healthy it's okay I and mean, then this is gonna be tasty by itself so you saw I added about a tablespoon of oil and what I'm gonna do once it's once I grind the mixture and stuff the eggplant I'm gonna add it in some more hot oil so it should be okay if you just use up out the tablespoon right now so let this saute for three to four minutes actually you want a nice golden dark brown color uh, on these onions so let them saute really nicely you can add some salt to get the water out so that they cook quickly so as you can see my onions have browned up really nicely i'm gonna add a tad of water just to uh, everything that's kind of sticking at the bottom uh, lifts up and to this I'm gonna add about half a cup of uh, coconut flakes so I added about uh, actually I added only about a one fourth cup of coconut flakes you want to add it after the onions are done so that they do not burn and then to this I'm gonna add some spices starting with one fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric one four teaspoon of red chili powder, one four teaspoon of garam masala, one four teaspoon of coriander powder, and about uh, a teaspoon of uh, the Kolapuri masala. Kolapur is a city uh, in Maharashtra and they are known for their spicy food. So that's what that masala is which is why I didn't add a lot of the other ones in here. Again, just let these spices cook a little bit. So as you can see this has cooked nicely. What I'm going to do is turn off the instant pot and go grind this in my uh, grinder. You can have magic bullet, uh, blender, whatever it is you want it to be a nice thick paste. So don't add too much water uh, in order to make it, uh, make it like a paste. So here I have my uh, eggplant cut up as you can see in like make two incisions this way and you can leave the green tops on and then here's what I'm going to grind up in my uh, magic bullet. 
so here's what they look like um, when they are stuffed all you need to do is kind of uh, put the um, masala in the uh, slits that we made and there will be still more left over and you can see the consistency this is I ground it up a little bit more by adding a water but you want it to be a thicker consistency when you stuff them in so I reheated my instant pot and I put some oil in there so all I want to do is uh, put these directly into that oil and don't worry about the all the brown uh, masala that's stuck it's perfectly fine and then dump all that rest of the gravy or masala in add some water and then I'm gonna add some water get all of that lift all of that uh, burnt it from the bottom uh, I think it's perfectly fine it basically just enhances the taste it's not like it was totally burnt so you just want to like lift up those bits and pieces they actually add a very good flavor so there you go and let this uh, we're gonna a pot in pot in here so I'm gonna cook rice on top of this and I'm gonna put that in here that's it I'm gonna close the lid turn off the saute mode put it in sealing position and turn on the rice mode again I've generally noticed with the rice mode the veggies also cook perfectly so that's what I'm going to use and I'll have two dishes ready at the end of this. I will show you what they look like. 